That morning, Agnes was drawing the cracked pelvis of a beaver. She had found it in the woods near Upper Lake, where the men had been searching for Bertha. Usually, she could collect only chipmunk bones or rabbit or squirrel. She'd never drawn a beaver before. The men were still searching for Bertha. Agnes had wondered, briefly, what else they might find in the ponds. Perhaps there were other girls who had vanished in the college woods, other bones tangled in the roots of the pines along the grassy edges of the water, the bow of the clavicle, the bowl of the pelvis. She had wanted to see, but it was habit now to keep to herself, to appear as unobjectionable as possible, mute as the white cross hung upon her wall and banal as the cross-stitched hymns beside it. She'd been spared freckles and red or black hair. Hers was dark brown, like soaked wood, and lay flatter against her head than was fashionable. She and Bertha simply scraped their damp hair back after a washing, because dowdiness was permissible, even godly. Dowdiness had been a shield for them both. Agnes had a narrow room on the third floor of Porter Hall, a slim little desk and chair designed for the minister's daughters who thronged the college. Bertha had fit these chairs well. Agnes herself was not narrow. She was a broad, spare girl of twenty, trim, but tall and square-shouldered and square-hipped. She never drew self-portraits, though she was a fine draftswoman in the anatomical mode. She did not wish to look at herself long enough to see the truth of her body, how its overlapping rectangles would sit like bare-fenced pastures on the page. Agnes Sullivan, all enclosure. The girls on her hall usually left her alone, as they had left Bertha alone, because they disliked her almost as much as they had disliked Bertha. They still disliked Bertha, in the midst of their fluttering about her mysterious fate. Their dull antipathy did not bother Agnes. Being alone meant that she could concentrate on her work. But Agnes could not trust any longer that she would be left alone, not after what she had done. There were certain things Bertha had told Agnes that she might still need to do.